ثم لتسألن يومئذ عن النعيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم كل عام وأنتم بخير رمضان كريم إن شاء الله One of the verses that I really believe that should be a guiding principle for you and I and that is where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed ثُمَّ لَتُسْأَلُنَّ يَوْمَئِذٍ عَنِ النَّعِيمِ where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us that then you will be asked about the blessings and the bounties that we have. When Prophet Muhammad shared this verse with the Sahaba, they said, What na'im, O Prophet Muhammad, what blessings and all we have, dates and water. And just let me remind you of some of those blessings that you really need to make sure you take advantage of it while you can. Because in the hadith where Prophet Muhammad alayhi salatu salam said, that the day of judgment, when the day of judgment come, we will be asked about four. لا تزول قدم عبد يوم القيامة حتى يسأل على أربعة. Your life, your age, that is your time, that on this earth, that what did you do with it? And that's your greatest assets that you have. If you think about it, this is what you have that you always, when you lose it, you cannot get it back unless you did something good. And then about your health. It is so important to understand that when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave you that health, the strength in your body, and then ilmun, and that's your knowledge. Knowledge meaning that it doesn't mean you have to be a scholar. It means that you understand what is la ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. That you understand one verse, you understand one hadith, you can read and you can write. You'll be asked what you did with that ilm, and then your income, what you did with your income and how you earn that income. And that's why in this month of Ramadan, inshallah, that we really understand, need to understand and make this verse a guiding principle for you and I, so we can live better as a good Muslim. ثُمَّ لَتُسْأَلُنَّ يَوْمَ إِذِنْ عَنِ النَّعِيمِ I need you to focus on those four. Four that Prophet Muhammad alayhi salatu salam said when we stand in front of Allah, he's gonna ask us about it. Now, one of those four I want you to focus on, as I will do, and this is advice for me before my brothers and sisters, and that is my time. In the month of Ramadan, I have to take advantage of this time. I need to understand that what I do every day should count towards my akhirah. When I stand up for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I know I fulfill my obligation as a Muslim. I fulfill my obligation as a community member. I fulfill my obligation as a husband, as a wife, as a son, as a daughter. And that's why it's really important. أسأل الله سبحانه وتعالى أن يتقبل منا ومنكم صالح الأعمال أسأل الله سبحانه وتعالى أن يتقبل منا صلاتنا وصيامنا وسجودنا وركوعنا والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته